Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, Taskgate automations. In a previous video, we explored how to automate tasks. For example, we saw how to automatically create a task based on a new Google Calendar event. But to create these automations in Taskgate, we had to use a third-party service called Zapier. However, in Taskgate's most recent update, the platform introduced its very own built-in automation tools, allowing us to create these automations and many others without the need of a third-party service. So let's dive right in and learn how to create a few automations with Taskgate's new built-in automation tools. So if you want to learn more about Taskgate's new built-in automation functionality, you can head on over to taskgate.com and find the AI automation section. And here, this will give you a brief overview of how the functionality works. But basically, it's very similar to when we did an automation with Zapier. You're basically creating if this, then that statements. So if this happen, then do this next action. So for example, if I create a new row in Google Sheets, then create a new task in this project in Taskit. Um, that's pretty much the premise uh, of it, but you can read more about it here in taskgate.com. For now, let's go over to our first uh, example within Taskit, and this is going to be uh, creating an automation. When we add a new row in a Google Sheets document, I want to create a task in a Taskgate project. So let's go check that out. So let's create our first automation within Taskgate. So to do that, I'm going to head here to my personal folder. You can obviously do this in any of your folders in Taskade. As you can see right now, I don't have any projects uh, in this folder, so I'm gonna go ahead and create one. I'm gonna give it an emoji, and I'm gonna call this project prospects. Okay, and what I wanna do here is I want, I have a prospects Google sheet. Let me just show you that. So I have this Google Sheet that every time I have a new prospect for a business, um, this is all made up, but let's just say that every time I have a new prospect or I meet somebody new that I think I can do business with, then I'm going to add their contact information into this Google uh, Sheet. And at the same time, I want to create a task in Taskade um, with this person's information just so that I can keep track of it. Um, also in Taskgate, and if I need to do anything else with that information, either assign it to somebody else or maybe have somebody else on my team follow up on this new business uh, prospect, then they'll have the information ready to go um, in Taskgate. So jumping back into Taskgate, to create this automation, I can either click here in the automation button inside the project itself, or if I'm kind of in the folder view, I have this automations tab that I can also start to create an automation from here. So let's do that. I'll click on Create Automation. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of options to um, to create this, this automation. So a lot of things, as you can see, are uh, Taskade to Taskade. So if something happens in Taskade, then do this other thing in Taskade. But you can also connect to other third-party apps like Slack, Google Docs. I think I saw MailChimp here. Um, what is this Calendly? I haven't used that before, but I need to check that out. Um, Google Sheets, etc. So I usually just click on Start from Scratch, as I know I, I, what I want to build already. And the first thing I need to choose is my trigger. So as we said, we want to add a task every time we create a new row in Google Sheets. So the first action is going to be creating that new row in a Google Sheets document. And then after that happens, we want to create, let me click here on add step to add a task or create a task in Taskade. So I already have here my base, I have my trigger and I have my action. Now I need to kind of customize it further, right? Or set the parameters so that Taskade knows what Google Sheet to look for and what project to add this new task into. So I'll select here my trigger again and here it's asking me to connect to Google Sheet, Sheets. So I've already connect, connected my account. If you haven't, you, it'll just give you the option to connect, go ahead and do so. Then the trigger would be every time I add a new row, 
right now we are, that's the only option we have i'm sure in the future they'll they'll add more options to have kind of more functionality or more flexibility as to when you do something else maybe not add a row maybe you want a when you add a column or when you change the highlight color of a certain cell um things like that i'm sure they'll be added in the future but for right now we only have new row as the trigger so when we add a new row in the prospects sheet and if you have a or sorry prospects document and if your document has multiple sheets then you'll select the right sheet here uh, but for mine it, it only has one and what, what i'm talking about is the sheets here below right so i know this is a google sheets document but within a google sheets document you can have multiple sheets but mine just has one so that's why i'm selecting just sheet one okay so now i'm, I'm task it knows where to look for in order to create this automation then i need to tell them tell Taskade which uh, project I want this task to be added into. So here, the project, as you can see, I only have prospects. Then if if you have multiple blocks, so let's say I created uh, headings within my project, um, you can select specifically which block you want to add these new tasks uh, into. But for me, it's, it doesn't matter. As long as they're in the prospects project, I'm okay. And then the content, and uh, there's not many options here. Um, really, it's just gonna add everything in your row. So if I go back to my Google Sheets, um, these four, first name, last name, phone number, and email, whatever is in, in the row, it'll add the whole thing as your task in Taskade. Um, right now, we don't have the option to kind of customize this, but I'm sure in the future, uh, we'll be able to get more picky as to what information we want to extract and bring over into Taskade. And then we can select whether we want this to be at the start of our project or are at the end. So I'll just select start. So yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. Once I have the options selected, I'll go ahead and click on save changes. So my changes are saved and then I need to click and turn on this automation with this toggle button right here. And you'll see that it now it's now active. You can also, and this is important just to, if you're going to start creating multiple automations, just so that you can identify them, you can give the automation a name. So I'm going to name it Prospects Google Sheet. So I know what this automation is about. And then I can simply go back home. And as you can see now in the automations tab under my personal folder, I see that I have a Google Sheets to task aid automation called Prospects uh, parenthesis Google Sheet and it was last edited today and it is active with this toggle button. Something else that you can see within the automation if we go back in it and you head, head over to this runs tab you can see the amount of times the automation has run so as you can see right now the automation has not executed but let me go ahead and add a new row to my Google Sheets so I'll do so I added a new row to my Google Sheets and that in a few minutes and really, I, I need to get more details as to how often these automations run because I, I find it in my experience that it, it varies. Some, sometimes it runs every 10 minutes, sometimes every hour. Um, really, it should be where every time I add a new row, it should instantly uh, come over to Taskade as a task. But that has not been my experience. So I usually find myself kind of going back in here and checking every few minutes whether or not um, the automation has, has run. But again i'm sure that's something that will improve in the future but for now i'm gonna pause the video here and as soon as i see that the the automation has run i'll come back to it and we can take a look at the uh, at the task that it created so our automation has officially executed for the first time so if i go back to the personal folder i go to automations i click on the automation we just created i go to runs i see that it ran successfully a few minutes ago um, progress 100 percent so now let's go back to our project. 
And as we can see, the information that we added, so we added a row five with Jessica Reed's information, and that whole row from Google Sheets has now uh, moved over to Taskade. So as you can see, it brings in every column from Google Sheets uh, as the task description. I really wish we could select which columns we want to bring over from that Google Sheets. But I mean, for right now, it, I think the fact that it just moves that automatically to Taskade and creates a task for you, it's really helpful. So next, we're going to build on this automation and kind of create a second automation within Taskade. And that's going to be so every time I meet or I complete the task of meeting with this uh, potential prospect, I want to create a project within Taskade so that the prospect has its own dedicated project um, within Taskade. So maybe this is either a business contact or a supplier or something that you've already had your first meeting with. So you'll mark this task as completed and then you'll create, you'll automatically create a project for them in Taskade so that any future conversations or future work that you do with said supplier or business partner, you can store within that project. So let's go ahead and build that automation next. Okay, so let's build our second automation now within Taskade. So I want that, as I mentioned, every time I complete this task of meeting with a potential prospect, then I want to automatically create a project for this prospect um, in Taskade. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back here to the personal folder and I want the project to live within this folder. So I'm gonna go to automations. I'm gonna click on add automation. And I'm just gonna start from scratch. So we want our trigger to be every time we complete a task. So that's task completed. We want to create a project within Taskade. Okay, so if I head over to the task completed trigger, uh, I see we have our trigger selected, that's okay. Project, I don't want this to look in all projects. So I want this to focus only in our prospects project. And block here, you can select a specific block, but I want just any task that I complete within the prospects project to generate a new project. Okay, so that's good for our trigger. Now looking at our, our action, so we want to create a project, that's okay. Now for the title of the project, I'm just going to do task content and for the content, I'm just going to leave it empty. I don't want to add anything. Um, actually, I'll, like, I'll add the task content as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this automation. I'm going to give it a name. Okay, and now we have created our second automation. So now let's go back to our project. So here in our prospects project, every time I complete a task, that should trigger the automation and I should see a new task created with the task content from the prospect. As you can see, it's not very pretty. I mean, it, it'll add the whole content of the task as the title of the project, but from here you can kind of delete what you don't need and just keep, for example, the name of the person. And I'll just add an emoji to that. And I just created a project. So now that every future conversation, work or touch point that I have with Jessica Reed, I'll go ahead and throw in this new project. And I don't have to worry about that um, person in the prospects project anymore. So there you have it. That's two ways we can use Taskit's new built-in automation to kind of speed up or automate our workflows and be more productive in certain aspects of our work. Um, before I close the video out, I would like to mention I did check on how often the automation runs, at least the one we did with Google Sheets, and it looks like it's running every 15 minutes. So it runs on the hour, on the hour 15, hour and 30, hour and 45, and then the hour again. Um, so if you were curious, that's kind of, at least in my experience, I, that's kind of the schedule that the automation is follow, but only for the Google Sheets, right? The second automation we built where we are creating a project based on a task, aid, uh, sorry, on a task that we complete, um, that's instant. And that, that kind of makes sense because that's a task to task aid automation and that's not going to a third party um, service like it is the case with our uh, Google Sheets automation. 
anyways i hope this video was easy to follow please i'll take any uh, constructive feedback that you guys can give me on how to improve this video how to make it useful if you want to learn about a certain topic uh, i'd love to hear that as well so please leave that in the comments down below and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks